everybody. Welcome back to Off Our Needles. I'm Tracy. I'm Jody, and we are the Grocery Girls. We are. And today is a huge day. It is the last check-in for our novelty net along. We've got a sweater. We need a sweater. Well, a t-shirt. You guys. Well, a t-shirt. And this, even though it's a t-shirt, there has been a lot of knitting here. There really was. Yeah. There really was. And there was different techniques that I learned. Um, this was a really, really fun process knit for me. And I love the product too. So I agree. So it's turned out really well. I agree. Okay. So in today's knit along, check in, we are going to talk about finishing. We are. So there's a few little tips and tricks we can show you that are just going to give you that little bit extra edge with your finishing on this garment, yeah. as well as how to finish the inside weaving in your ends with cotton because it's completely different than a, wool, a fiber like wool. Okay, let's get knitting. Let's do it. should do a little bit of a recap of how we kind of built this sweater from beginning to end because it is different it was a different process for it was sure. a different process than yes. what I've done okay so we did start with the sleeve right so we cast on our sleeve we got into our little bit of a lace pattern which was great up to a certain point and then we added all those stitches with our provisional cast on yeah front and back fun fun <laughs> now you're into the body of your tee right lots of knitting yeah, that was fun too. And then, you know, once you hit up to here, you had to make a hole for your head to go through. You did. <laughs> you did. So, I mean, this process has been so much fun for me. Yes. The way that it was knit, the different things that were going on really kept my interest. It did. So I loved the way it was the one piece construction, but it was put together on the sides with the lace kind of grafting your fronts and back together as you go, that was completely different for me. Yeah, and then last time, remember we talked about how um, we actually finally added our lace panel. Yeah. Attaching the two, and yes. that's what, that was our last step. That's where we've left off. That is. Yeah, and don't forget you guys, just because we're coming to an end with our cowl doesn't mean you can't knit it. It really never ends. Yeah. There's that amazing 50% coupon code, which you can find in the description box below. Yeah. Pick your favorite color of this yarn yeah. and get going on your own novelty because it's, like Jody said, yeah. it's never over. And also, there's a link down below to our first episode of our introduction to our novelty cowl. Yeah. Our support videos are always there for you whenever yeah. you decide to jump into this knit along. Awesome. Okay. okay. The first thing we need to do is weave in our ends. We do, which is same for anything we knit, right? Yeah. We don't, don't leave those ends dangling. So we're gonna weave them in, but they're a little bit different this time because we're working with cotton. This I did not know about. This was new for me too. Yeah. Cause like I said, I'd never knit with cotton before and cotton just doesn't have those scales. You can't fray the yarn yeah. and have it stay. It can actually end up popping out of when you weave it in after you wear it for a little bit. So we're gonna show you how to finish yeah. that properly. We don't want anything popping out. And it's very out. simple. We don't want things popping out, that's for sure. I'm just finishing weaving in my ends. Now there's nothing tricky about this part with the cotton, but leave that end dangling like that, and then we're gonna block our garment and come back to some more finishing techniques later. Let's take a look at this optional hem. This purl stitch that we were making five stitches in all the way along our sweater actually forms the perfect place to fold up and make this rolled edge. So you don't even have to press it or anything. It just kind of naturally folds there. And what we're gonna do is make a little whip stitch to fasten it down all the way across our sweater and it's gonna create this beautiful finished rolled edge. Let me show you how to do that. So we're gonna make sure our edges are even here. And I'm just gonna go into one of the little pearl bumps in the back like that and then pick up a leg on the edge of my sweater. And then just pull my yarn through. See, there's a little end I've got there. We're gonna deal with that later. There we go. And I'm just gonna continue to do this all the way along. I'm gonna grab a little pearl bump and legs on a stitch on the edge of my sweater. And it's just a simple whip stitch. Just keep your tension nice and loose. You don't need to make it super tight to have it stay there. Grab a purl bump, grab your knit stitch leg, and off to go. And you would do this on the front and the back. Now let's look at the neckline. With a heavy garment like this and it being cotton, you run the risk of possibly stretching out your neckline a little bit. So there's two ways where we can reinforce this and kind of continue to give your garment that little bit of structure along this edge. You can single crochet all the way around your neck edge, 
if you want to do that. You can also, if you're you know, a diehard knitter, you can pick up stitches all the way around your neckline and knit around and then bind off and you've created a nice sturdy edge. But I feel like even if your preferred method is knitting, the crochet is super speedy and super quick and I, that's the way I'm gonna do mine today. The first thing you need is a crochet hook and this one's actually one size smaller than we were working with when we knit the garment. And that's gonna make it really easy for it to fit under the stitches because we're gonna pull yarn through there. For the sake of demonstration, I'm gonna use a contrast color yarn, but finish this in the color that you've knit your sweater in. This is just gonna be easier for us to see what's going on in my demo. I'm actually using a crochet hook one size smaller than the knitting needles I use to knit the garment, and that's gonna make it really easy for us to slip it under the stitches and grab my yarn. And when you do do this slipping, make sure you grab both legs of your stitch. So let's get going. I'm gonna bring my yarn under both legs of those that we grabbed there. And now I'm basically just gonna do a little chain stitch, pull it through my loop. Now I'm gonna find my next stitch to go under, pull it through, pull it through my nice little loop on my hook here. And try and be careful with your tension. You don't wanna go super tight and pucker your neckline. And just like when you're picking up a button band on a sweater, uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go three stitches and then skip one. We're gonna do basically every three out of four stitches. And that should keep our tension really nice. I think my main tip for this one, you guys, is tension. Don't be too tight. Go slow. And just work your way around the neckline. And you can see those nice little Vs that we've got going there. Now that all our finishing is done, let's talk about these ends again, because we're not quite finished with those yet. Yeah, and cotton doesn't stay in place when you weave it in. It's true. So yeah. we've got one more little tip to share with you guys, and it's called Fray Check, which is basically just kind of like fabric glue, right? And on the ends, yeah. it's just going to stay there and prevent your end from popping out the wrong side. Yeah. Let me show you really quickly how we do it. Have you ever used this stuff before? I've never used Fray Check, but I have never knit with cotton like this Me before. Me either. So this is yeah. the first for us too. I love it. I love first times like this. Mm -hmm. What we are going to do is trim our ends to about, what, half a centimeter to a quarter of an inch, I guess, for what you know somebody else may call it. And then we're just going to take a little dab of our Fray Check. You can either use a toothpick or just kind of wing it, right? Wing it. Wing it. That's what we like to do. And I'm just going to put a couple of drops right on the end of my cotton like that, and I'm just gonna let it dry. And I'm gonna work on all the ends in my sweater exactly the same way, and just let them dry, and they're not going anywhere. Yeah, they're not gonna budge. And you guys, this is a really important step because you don't wanna have to end up finding yourself if with a trimmed end that starts to unravel because you're not gonna have an easy time getting it back it's in. It's true, this is yeah. simple, easy, quick, one and done. You know what that means? We're I, done our sweater. We have a novelty, a finished novelty, you guys. We hope you love knitting this as much yeah. as we did. I loved all the new techniques. I loved the construction and all the fun new techniques that we learned to construct this sweater today. I loved it. And we want to see your sweaters. Share your progress using the hashtag off our needles because we would really love to see the colors you chose yes. and the you know we want to see you wearing your sweater. That is the most fun part of a knit along for us seeing you guys getting involved too. We love seeing your pictures on Facebook and Instagram and all kinds of things. Let us know in the box below how how did your novelty go? Yeah we really really loved knitting this sweater. We loved that you knit along with us. I'm thrilled to finally have knitted a summer garment. I've never done that before and I will definitely be doing it again. I would too. I don't really think of knitted items that I'm going to wear through the spring and summer. And now that I have one, I think, you know, I would definitely knit another one. I do too. I'm going to have to be knitting for summer. Absolutely. Yeah. So guys, let us know how everything went for you. Post your questions and comments in the box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our videos. And thanks for knitting along with us. We'll see you next time on Off Our Needles. Bye Happy guys. Happy knitting.